It's the insidious music. I twist my ankle. <laughs> that has no right to be as funny as a fuck it is, dude. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Abridged. We're doing episode 44 today, and it's been it's been a couple weeks since probably two weeks. I think it's been like two weeks since I last watched uh, episode 43, just because I try and do them in batches, but. I was a little ahead and then I just got behind on stuff, so I'm recording a lot right now in a batch. So last episode, I, I had to go back and look uh, just to make sure I was really familiar with the events. Cell was fighting Piccolo, Piccolo lost his arm, and then Trunks and Krillin chimed in, I believe. And then, you know, Cell flashed them, showed them their dong, his dong, and then he flew away. And yeah, that's where we left off. So we're gonna continue off of that. But before we get started, I just want to throw some notes at you guys, some like you know expectations for more videos, and all that. Because I know right now I'm doing like single episodes uh, for Dragon Ball Z Bridge, even though they're easy to throw up and everything. It's just kind of what I could keep up with with momentum of doing this, as well as other series for like One Piece and all that for this channel, and then as well as other series for my Alex and TV channel, because all of this is my anime stuff related channel, and then my other channel is Alex and TV, which is just all normal TV series, like live action or just like American, you know, Western uh, country type series and shit. I don't know, M more non-anime based basically, just to appeal because there's totally different audiences and all that for that. So if you haven't heard of that or want to go check stuff out on that, a lot of like Game of Thrones, The Boys, all of that will be on there. Uh, anyways, so anyways, back to this. Uh, I know I post like one episode right now and after finishing this, I plan to do Dragon Ball OG and, you know, continue down the road of actually all of the original series and shit. So in regards to that, those won't be single episode postings. Those would be double episode postings. Uh, kind of basically how my One Piece, because my One Piece has been single episode postings too, just because I was the editor and all that. But now I, I have an editor, two editors helping me with a lot of stuff. And it's been going great in terms of just keeping up with stuff and just catching up so going forward a lot of my one piece episodes are going to be two one piece videos are going to be two episodes and that's the same um process the dragon ball videos are going to be so i aim hope this is just all you know hopeful at the moment but i think it's pretty guaranteed for how everything's been going um when i start original dragon ball series it's going to be it's going to be theoretically right now uh two episodes of video three videos a week so it'd be Sam's schedule. I aim to do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then my one piece is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. And then miscellaneous stuff is just gonna be miscellaneous. But sometimes, you know, I will be behind, so some days will be missed, which is understandable. But that's kind of it for expectations. And then since it will be, you know, original like series, uh, I'll have to do copyright avoidance. So basically how the opacity and um frame was changed for the two previous dragon ball abridged movies i reacted to i think is revenge of cooler and lord slug how those are is basically how the og like the actual series are gonna be transformed it's gonna have the circular frame to it as well as like a 30 percent opacity uh, just to help avoid, you know, copyrights and all that crap, especially with Toa animations. I, like, I keep hearing they're the biggest ones who are, like, very hardcore on it. So I'm hoping everything is fine, especially <laughs> my dumbass picking up One Piece and Dragon Ball. Two of the biggest animes out there, but also owned by Toa animations who are very, you know, anal about, like, that's our content. That's our... So, like, I'm really risking it but hopefully it's good i think it's transformed enough you know to be fine so hopefully it's and it's up to youtube anyways to like really determine like you're just you're just reposting the shit dude it's not transformative so we'll see anyways so besides that that's kind of my plans for the dragon ball series in terms of timeline i'm sorry this is a long video i know some people which is weird don't like these type of videos or types of intros where i like i'm trying to tell you guys what to expect for the channel which is weird, like, why wouldn't you want to know what's to come um, or any of that and just want to watch the reactions without watching, like, listening to the reactor? I don't know. It's, it's an interesting concept to me. 
on some people. But timeline wise, after I finish the bridged, I'm going to do Helsing Ultimate, the original series, because I want to watch the original series and then watch the parodied version of it, which that's eight, eight episodes, eight or ten. It's eight or ten. I was just looking at it just to see how it looked. It looks really awesome. Uh, it, I, I was explaining to a friend of how I felt it was. Uh, I feel like Helsing Ultimate style wise and all that, it's like a combination of jojo's bizarre adventures with d the vampire hunter if you guys are familiar with that the full movie is on youtube i believe and it's fucking awesome so if you haven't seen d the, the, the vampire hunter go watch it it's fucking sick um but yeah that's like how Hel Hel helsing ultimate looked they look like a baby of like a combination of jojo's bizarre adventure characters and design style with like the gothic vampire tone of d the vampire hunter so I'm going to watch the original version of that and then watch the abridged version of that. And then once I'm done with that, uh, <laughs> I'm like laying out a whole fucking timeline. Um, and then while I'm doing the original Dragon Ball Z series, I'm going to start picking up other abridged series. Because other abridged series, there's no editing involved for the most part. The intro and exit parts, a little music background shit in the beginning. But for the actual reaction to the series, not really a lot of editing, which is a good thing for me. So I want to start picking up other abridged series. So, so far, vaguely on my mind, I'm gonna, I want to do Bleach. I just don't know if I'm going to do the Bleach before watching the original series because I still need to watch the original series. So let me know your thoughts on that. If I should do abridged or original first. And then I'm going to do my Hero Academia abridged because I've watched most of that. So I'll start the beginning parts of where I'm not caught up, where, where I am caught up and do that. Yu-Gi-Oh abridged, Sword Art Online abridged. I'd love to see Sword Art Online because like I hated the end where I got to the part about the fairies, like they adopted a fairy daughter. So I kind of hope they <laughs> like talk shit on that part. Um, yeah, and there, there's a couple other abridged series I plan on watching. Inuasha, I believe. Or Yo-Yo -Yo Hakusha. Hakusha. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those. I'm probably butchering the name. But th those two I plan on doing, or one of those. One of those are abridged by Lani Patter. Lani Patter. Uh, which I guess was his first uh, parody abridged series that he did. So I, I plan to do in that uh, as well. Don't know the orders, but yeah, feel free to let me know your thoughts and everything. Also, one last thing. I just remembered this. Uh, have any of you seen, because I, I was thinking about watching this too, because it looked really cool. I browsed it just to see like uh, its quality and worthwhile of checking out and posting. Uh, it's called Dragon Ball Deliverance. It's another fan animation series on YouTube. It looks really good. I just don't know if I should watch that. Like if I like like with the abridged stuff, like do I need some lore and all that, or can I just go in and watch it? Like they make their own stories out of it. So feel free to let me know. Check it out if you don't know anything about it because it looks fucking awesome. Like the quality of it. I like the voice acting seemed good. The the fighting seemed awesome because I skipped through and looked at some segments of it. But it's called Dragon Ball Deliverance. And it's like another fan animation studio. But they they actually animate the shit themselves. It's not like a bridge type content. It's like they do it all themselves. So let me know if I should check that out. But that's it. That's kind of <laughs> everything I have in place. Also, I plan on, I'm going to do the Terminator anime too. So yeah by the time you guys are actually seeing this video the terminator anime will already be out i think yeah so yeah i pl plan on doing that so you might see it on here or not uh that's about it i'm done talking it's almost nine minutes of recording so i appreciate you guys as always that's why like i, I want to you know kind of inform you guys and update you as much as as possible you know with my scheduling my plans so then that way i can bounce ideas off of you because you know i appreciate you guys your support your engagement what, what you like what you have to say all of that so that's why i go out of my way to not pointlessly talk for 10 minutes just because wow this guy he's very egotistical and just uh, likes to hear himself talk like no that's that's not the case i like i just want to share as much info of like my plans with you guys because you guys are the audience you know and uh, like trying to bounce ideas off of you all that like the direction i should go to like stuff i want to watch that also you enjoy to make it a win-win anyways that's it that's it i'm done fucking talking appreciate you guys if you listen to all this comment comment what is it what, what fruit is it a plum
Yeah, comment a plum emoji. If you literally watched, or if you listened to my whole stupid ass voice for nine minutes, 10 minutes now, comment a plum emoji. Just comment one. You don't have to say anything. Just put a plum. And then a lot of people in the comment, like a lot of people reading the comments, like, why the fuck are there so many plums? That shows they didn't watch the initial part. And they'll look like idiots because they're not commenting plums. <sighs> Sucks to be them. Anyways, let's start episode 44. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last thing. I'm going to do 44, 45, 46. And then the his history of trunks. So that's kind of the order. I'm doing it. So we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. A fan base parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Oh, yeah. Last thing. God, I'm talking so much. I'm sorry. I'm going to try a couple episodes. I know some people might be mad. A couple episodes without closed captions. Because initially I needed closed captions because I was cutting shit out for copyright. But I haven't had any issues for a long time. So I'm not going to have closed captions in this. And if for some reason you can't hear shit and be like, you're talking over everything, dude. I can't hear anything. Which, you're here for the reaction. So you really don't need to watch the show. But, um, let me know. Let me know. Like, because also with the, the closed caption text up, I, I've been reading it sometimes when I don't want to, but it's just up there. And sometimes I'll read it and it does spoil, like, the expectation. Which some of you commented and I agree with. But it does, like, spoil, like... Like when there's like a plot twist or someone's about to get interrupted and in in talking because they're about to get hit or a surprise factor, it indicates that in the text, like it shows that they're being cut off or like interrupted. So it's like context that's going to that spoiling of like what's to come than just, you know, purely watching it without any text. But I am I am going to do without closed captions, probably this whole bulk recording that I'm doing right now. And then, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on if you want it or not, but I'm gonna try it without and see how it goes. And Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Toa TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. <laughs> release. <laughs> release. What the fuck? I like this background music. <laughs> if that says what I think it says. Did it say Sucky Town? Oh, Nikki Town. <laughs> My fucking brain, dude. Oh, uh, shit. Like, for some reason, I, I, I'm i ADHD and dyslexic, but sometimes dyslexic. Not all the time. But when I briefly saw this, this is how my mind worked. I grabbed the S, I grabbed the U, and for some reason, I had them down here. So it said Sucky Town. Like, that's how my brain literally interpreted this. Because they're like, oh, North City, East City, a sucky town. <laughs> Which I would not put this past Team Four Star to do. All right. So South City is to the north, North City is to the west, and East City is also to the north. Hmm. Where Interesting. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Battle ball. Sir, I need to ask you to move off the road. We have a very important game today against the West City Southerners, and we're already running late. <laughs> oh, East City has a panda sanction. The species evolution obviously wants to die, but we won't let it. Bro, that's so Dude, funny. That's cute. I am now going to start applying oh. the horn. I am now going to use it again. Honestly, this guy kind of looks like uh, Timothy Olfant. I can't say his fucking last name. Olfant. He played in uh, Justified, the Western series. He also played a little bit in Mango. Mango. <laughs> Mandalorian. I was thinking of uh, Mandalorian and Django. And I compl Mango. Mangalorian. Because uh, he was in uh, Django's armored suit for a little bit because he came across it. But he looks just like him. If you know who I'm talking about. If you know, you know. If you don't, idiot. I will now continue to use the horn until you politely move. <laughs> politely move. Okay. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. He's part Al. Beep. <laughs> Beep. You're so predictable. Beep. Timothy. Beep. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I love how chaotic Cell is, though. I just need to find my brother and sister before. Hey, you giant green. Brother and sister? Wait, is he referring to Android 17 and 18? Pylon, you ain't no casa. Get off the road. Else me and the boys are gonna have to make your face look like your ass. And what your ass fuck? look like your face. Oh, my God. Hey, you. I want to make a joke about your team. What's its name? The East City <laughs> Westman. <laughs> Oh, I am too hungry for this shit. Oh. Penetration. Beep, beep. Oh, shit. Beep, beep. Damn beep, beep. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Wow, Piccolo's pulling a your dad. Damn it, damn it, pulling damn, your it dad. damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, uh, see? And now we have there this. There he is. You, Namekian, too strong. Explain now. He fused with Kami, so we. <laughs> Vegeta's so frustrated he went caveman mode. You, you speak now. You, you talk. Why strong? You become stronger. The f's the Kami. Basically, God. But I'm still here. Do you <laughs> really believe your own hype that much? Your own I hype. Am the hype. <laughs> I am the hype. Hey, finally found you guys. Just followed Vegeta screaming. What'd I miss? Tickle a fuse with Kami. Oh, that finally came full circle. More importantly, there's a new threat. Another android created by Dr. Jiro. Do I hear five? Five? Everyone, you have to come quickly. Aw, but we're about to drink our lima bean and lentil smoothies. Yeah, they taste like Not a problem for me, Chi Chi. Not a problem for me. Ice cream machine in the morning. No time for those. Come upstairs. I'm coming. I'm I'll do it anywhere. <laughs> Hmm. What a miracle we have witnessed. Allow what a miracle. All the local news. I've had to deal with him screaming bloody murder for the last three hours. I'll take what I can get. I wonder what he's dreaming about. Yay! I'm... <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I love how I was just talking about One Piece in the intro of this video, too. What a perfect combination. Pirate Goku. Pirate Goku. Adventure Sword Guy Piccolo? Uh, actually, oh, I we think got... you need to wake up. The I love how Piccolo is Zoro because the voice actor for the original Dragon Ball and One Piece is is Zoro. That's so funny. And Piccolo. Androids Wait, look! It's Ninja Goku! Ninja hey, Goku. Pirate Goku! Let's go on an adventure! Yeah! But you gotta hey. continue Shippuden too! God, I'm so behind. So yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. You mean a nut cell? Shut up. <laughs> so if Cell manages to find whatever he's missing, you mean. he'll become even stronger? I guess. He was pretty vague about it. No matter what, though, if he and the androids join forces, none of us will stand a chance. Says you. And here we go. I don't care how many people you fuse with, you'll never be as strong as a Super Saiyan. Not really much of a milestone anymore. <laughs> shit. I will find a level beyond a Super Saiyan. So what? Like a Mega Saiyan? Ultra Saiyan? You're mocking me. Maximum over Saiyan. I feel like these are mocking jokes, but I feel like they could also be references to actual <laughs> names of the power or abilities in original Dragon Ball series. Off, Triclops. I love how he gets mad and flies Why off. Why do you antagonize him like that? Constantly. You know he can kill you, right? At this point, it's a game. If he gives in, <laughs> I win. And he knows that. Crazy thought. <laughs> if that sells from another time, I love that. There's got to be one in this timeline too. Pretty sure. That's what that I said. Emotional episode you had that earlier. That was my theory. lab. Well, he was a mad scientist. Shot in the dark. Maybe he's got a basement. Ah, oh, crap, baskets. Oh, you say that too. All right then. Trunks, you go back to Jero's lab. Oh crap. I'm baskets. going after Cell. I'm going with Trunks to go after Cell. And I'm going with Piccolo to go after Cell. Break. So now that I have the chance to say this, um, sorry, my dad killed Chaozu. <laughs> and you made it awkward. 
<laughs> the hey, fucking look. Jerry. What's your name? My name is Nicky Town. Who are you? Name Cell. And you what are looking the fuck? Fine. <laughs> you're yeah, a... thank you, Mr. Cell. But you're just saying that. I'll... Honestly, though, dude, like, Cell might become one of my favorite characters, just how chaotically hilarious he's been. I fucking love it. I don't say that to every town I come across. <laughs> Mr. Cell, please absolve me. Oh, don't worry. I'll get around to it. I need you right now, Mr. Cell. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm in the middle of something right now. <laughs> right now, Mr. Cell. Right now. Bitch, I do what I want. Oh, my God, bro. Really getting aroused right there. Not me. <laughs> So. Oh my god, was it always this cold? We were here at noon, it was not this cold! Well, if you need to warm up, start looking. Holy shit. You know, I sometimes complain about our lifestyle, but honestly, shipping lasers is fun. Pew <laughs> pew! Are you making laser noises? All the time in my head. Why, is that weird? <laughs> hey, there it is! Well, we can't climb down that, it's broken. Just come on. Whee! Yeah, they can fly. <laughs> I need to Whee! ask you a favor. What's that? If we find any more androids down here, kill them. Please don't tell my father. I swear on my life. Unless he threatens my life. In which case. Wow. Danger Will Robinson. Who's Will Robinson? The future is no fun. It's really not. It's really not. Huh? Everyone's dead. Hey, so if I were a gambling man. Huh? Oh my god. It's adorable. There it is. Well, time to waste it. No, yep, wait. yep. Aww. What? These these are the schematics for the androids. We could use these to find a way to turn them off. Don't ask how to turn them on. Don't ask how to turn her on. Don't ask how to turn Android 18 on. How do you turn Android 17 on? 17. <laughs> Names. Oh, shit. And Lazuli. Who the devil names their children after crystals? It's like they wanted them to grow up to be strippers. Oh man. And apparently Android 16 was modeled after Jero's son. Jero's son. Ah. Oh. It sounds like you're making that up. No, he had a ginger really. son. Well, okay. Which means Jero is a ginger too. Ginger jokes are not below me. I'll rip them when I can. Grab those and let's kill Cell! Hold on, I I've been thinking. I can never think of any though. It's never done anything wrong. So, doesn't it have the right to life? This what? isn't about a right to life. It's about making a choice. I mean, you can a raise it right. We both need to make. Become its father, a Trump. Doing a terrible mistake that can ruin lives and f it, I'm dropping the pretenses. We're aborting Cell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's Hell yeah. Before this place comes down abort, our abort. Sorry, just a little caught up in gloating. I killed Sal! Uh. Baby! Oh, oh, okay. backed up first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dude, it'd be so cool to fly. Uh. more. Nothing but clothes with stab marks. Cell's calling card. Ah, Penetration it, marks. killed my star battle back. My entire fantasy team just went straight to hell. Are you serious? What? I have hobbies. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I have hobbies. Hey there, Nikki Town. This is your local station, 98.5. The Nick, where TJ and the Wombat. wombat. The Wombat. Me so horny. <laughs> what the What's fuck, the weather bro? What's looking like out there, Wombat? <laughs> wombat weather. Oh We're my in the god. Of an impossible heat wave. A balmy 104 degrees. So make sure you stay hydrated. Real hydrated. They got such a small mouth. And in local sports news, many of our listeners are still waiting at the stadium for the East City Westman who are becoming Suck 'em dry, Cell. Suck 'em dry. Probably in some traffic on the turnpike. Or maybe they're just scared. Yeah. Oh, looks like we got our first call in of the segment. Hello there, Keller. What can TJ and the Wombat do for you? Hello there, I. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me suck this guy off first. 
<laughs> okay. Could you play Video Kill the Radio Star? Wow. Uh, we usually only do the top 20. But today, we'll make an exception for you, killer. Oh, shucks. Thanks, He Miller. is a killer. I'll be right in. What, what, what do you say? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that thing? No. No, get away. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Killing him live on the radio. Damn, bro. Holy shit! Dude, I love Cell. Hey, welcome back to 98.5 The Cell. We have another caller making a request. Oh, man. Sorry, that's not in the lineup. <laughs> Speaking of the lineup, in the next half hour, we've got Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. Killing good song. me softly with his song by Lauren Hill. Another good song. By all by myself. Oh, now don't by touch that dial. Son. I'm touching it. I'm going to touch the dial so hard, so. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. It's just the after credits. Yeah, I don't know, man. Cell might become one of my favorites. He's just so fucking funny. So committed. He kind of makes me think of... Uh, scream but like the parody version of scream like scary movie scream yeah he, he makes me think of like the parody version where it's like what's up like if you guys know what i'm talking about but like that's yeah yeah because that was scary movie scream he makes me think of him because it's very similar voice very chaotic silly horror villain going around killing people uh and then just like the radio concept made me think of Scream with like the phone calls and just killing people. So yeah, I, I got a, I'm getting a lot of Scream vibes from uh, the Cell. Cell. The Cell. It's not Cell, it's The Cell. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. I'm going to just keep going through these. I'm going to binge a lot of these. So I'm going to look the same in a lot of these videos going forward. But it's like, what's on? It's 10.30 p.m. So who knows? Maybe by 11, I'll be like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm a little bitch. I gotta go to bed. So we'll see. But I aim to get a good bit of these out tonight. Got I, I got a couple rounds in me to sque squeeze out tonight. Anyways, yeah, let's go to the next video. What's up, guys? Before going to episode 45, I'm also gonna do the short special, which is between 44 and 45, and it's called Celloween. A flight out of cell so it's only four minutes long i might include this together in a video i don't know what i'm going to do yet but I'll, I'll probably plug it yeah i'll plug it in somewhere so before before episode 45 i'm going to do the special and then we'll go to episode 45 so let's just let's get through this one uh I, from the looks of it it's just like cell going around killing more people which that's good that's always a good time is he gonna kill airplanes Basil? Basil? And here's George to tell us about the situation in Nikki Town. Thank you, Wes. It is a regular invasion of the body snatchers down here. Regular in this invasion. Land of the dead, who knows what psycho is causing this massacre? From dusk till dawn, from Crystal Lake to Elm Street, nobody is being left behind. Crystal Lake to if Elm this Street. Slithers into your <laughs> Hellraiser. Town, you run like a lot of horror references. I like it. Hell, find a cabin in the woods. And cabin. If anyone comes knocking, make sure you let the right one in, or you'll be dead by dawn. Oh my God. Nothing. You're dry. And you're about to be dry. Suck him, Cell. Suck him. Yeah. yeah, suck him. Oh, yeah. no eyewitnesses of the monster so far. Here's a composite sketch of what our top experts Bro, it's like everyone. You got Dracula, Freddy Krueger, Jason, Hellraiser. I don't know what the fucking tail is though. What's what? Who's the tail belong to? Because the cape and everything, the collar, it's Dracula, claws, Freddy Krueger, mask, Jason, and then Hellraiser with the nails and everything. I don't know what the tail is. What boogie? What horror dude has a tail? Believe the monster to look like. Goddamn twenty-four hour news cycle. <laughs> 
Holy shit! I want to play a game. We're gonna suck them off too. A flight out of cell. Oh shit. I really like this horror concept. It's so cool. Oh shit! It's the insidious music. I twist my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> that has no right to be as funny as the fuck it is, dude. <laughs> Just his voice and everything. Ah! I twist my ankle. Oh my god. I twist my ankle. <laughs> so funny. No, her too. I twisted my ankle. Typical horror concepts. Not today. Oh shit. Krillin. Superman. Ah, Krillin, my arch nemesis. So arch nemesis. We meet at last again. Watch this be like a dream that Krillin's having right now, or just fantasizing as he's flying with trunks. Thank you for saving me. You're so brave and attractive. Will you be my new daddy? <laughs> Listen, I know you both just lost a husband in the fire, my new daddy. and you need to fill that void. But I have eyes for another. No, go. Okay. I love you, new daddy. That kid fucking reminds me from Shrek 4. Yeah, Shrek 4, where it's like the little kid to Shrek, he's like, do the roar, do the roar. And he wouldn't do it, but eventually he did the roar, and he's like, I love you, daddy. Like, <laughs> it's just so fucking funny. I love this. Now, we shall battle. I love you, daddy. Krillin is it's him. No use, Cell. I've studied all your moves. Curse you. Now for my ultimate technique. <laughs> all right, gotta get this flash. In. Flare. Oh, I saw eyeballs. Oh. Oh. What? What the fuck is this? Is fan art of? Is this supposed to be like? Krillin <laughs> with I don't, I don't someone wearing the Jason mask I don't know the reference to this shit it's like a horror shit reference hmm. he just runs away wait that's not my ultimate attack I thought the Kienza oh, god damn it every time Oh shit. I said not today! Huzzah! Yeah. Huzzah! How? How did you best my penultimate technique? I blinked. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> well, then, that'll do it. My Are you okay, new daddy? <laughs> <laughs> I what love the say? voice. His account. Oh well, well, shit! Oh. Krillin, it seems that even in your wildest dreams, you still can't measure up. What? What are you saying? I'm saying, wake up. It is what? a dream. What? I said, wake up. <laughs> oh man! I had the craziest <laughs> oh, dream. Man. Cell was there. Well, the androids are here. Yo. <laughs> Holy shit! Is that it? Well, the androids are here. Your girlfriend here is Android 18. Uh, nothing really to talk about. That's cool. I, I I really love the the horror concept of because it's, it's funny. I just talked about that in the last video where like um uh Cell gives off like the parody like the scary movie scream version of a horror character and then they have this short horror episode so it's like perfectly timing uh yeah that's about it now i'm gonna go to episode five i'm blazing through these blazing through have nothing else to really expand on i liked it predictable though i thought it would be a dream from krillin and it was so i'll see you guys in episode 45.